Hi everybody, Michael here, and I'm gonna try to use the. Uh, I'm gonna get going with the database here. So I've uh, figured out that I'm gonna use the world database. It's a common example database provided by MySQL. So I'm gonna download it and try to get going with it. So I'll install it into my database server as a database and, well, you know connect to it, use it, yeah, whatever you do with databases. So uh, follow me and let's see how hard it can be. So first here I have it, uh, I have the, I've, I've looked it up, so I've read a bit about it. And it contains free tables down there, okay, let's see that. And it's going to, we're gonna need this world.sql file because that contains all the SQL code that will sort of set up our database, uh, create the schema and populate it with content. So we can download it, so it's available here for download together with some other example databases. And we see that the world database is there, that is the one that I'm using. And it also exists in an extended version that has some specific only my SQL features implemented. So I usually go with this because I know that it's a bit, a bit more, it works in MariaDB and uh, so, so I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, so I think we are ready. There is nothing more to see here, basically. Um, yeah, we have the table, so we can use these uh, SQL commands just to get going later on. So I'm gonna do this uh, using the workbench. So I've uh, opened it up, connected to my database server, and I'm basically ready to do it. Show databases like that. Yes, so here we are, we are empty. Uh, so yes, I had downloaded it, so it's available here in the world.sql, but I can't really, no, I couldn't do it like that. So I need to create another SQL uh, uh, tab where I can sort of add stuff. Uh, I guess I can do it like, yeah. Okay, so I, uh, well, I could drag it and I got a new tab there. Okay, nice, whatever. Uh, I could also open it up here uh, there it is, and then I can open it up. So now I have a lot of scripts open up here. Okay, nice. So here is the world, and this tab is now connected directly to this file. So that is nice. So I can change things here and save. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but uh, I could do that. And that is good to know when we are working with SQL later on with our own scripts. So here we have uh, my SQL dump. Um, created with a backup program and here we have basically all the stuff that is sort of needed to set up the uh, database so we can ignore the first things there and we can go down here and we can see drop database if exist here we go these are the first steps creating the database and using it and then we're setting up the tables drop Oops, sorry, do not destroy it. Drop table if it exists, so then we create the city table, and then we are inserting uh, values into it. So this is basically a type of backup file that we usually see from, uh, from MySQL databases. So it's a long file. So you know what? I think I'm gonna press here because that will execute the whole script. So let's see what happens. Whoops. I have an error to it. What? I can't have an error to it. Wonder. Okay, let's do it like this then. Okay, so I'm gonna do everything. Wow. That seems to work a bit better. So a lot of green stuff here. Nice, the whole file executed. Good, so I can go back to my small, uh, my own SQL script here. So I'm gonna run that again, show databases. And there we have world, okay, nice. So I'm gonna use world like that. 
okay we can see down down here we can see that the use command worked out fine and basically we are done now so show tables could we do that also yes we have tables in the world city country and country language okay so i'm not going to use the um, uh, a lot of sql here i could try to use the ones here show tables use world nice we can select count from city so how many cities is it down in here let's go with that so 4079 yep seem to work and we can select the count from country so how many countries are it here uh, like that country let's go two three nine and what do they say yes okay so it seems like the database is all up and running should i just go with one simple uh, sql query hmm yeah i can do that so i think i'm going to start with uh, select all from country just to see you see i make i'm mixing uh, capital and small caps here uh, it's fine either way it looks nicer when you do it like that but if you want to do it fast well it's i do it like that if i'm going to save this into a file for later i usually do it in a good way so i usually sort of uh, use uh, upper uh, <laughs> caps up for the sql statements part so we have a lot of uh, countries there so let's see what we have life expectancy i want to see in what in what country do we have the largest life expectancy that would be nice to know so let's see select uh life expectancy expectancy uh, from uh, country uh, order by order by uh, life expectancy in uh, descending order perhaps and yeah let's see if that works okay so here i'm just writing it up in several uh, rows because i think it's really easy to uh, read the sql statement when you do that it's also easy to sort of extend it and sometimes you need to sort of comment away few stuff in the sql statement when you're working with a large one so this is nice so i'm going to go with this one i'm going to just press Control enter and that will execute the uh, the statement that i'm in there and let's see so okay yes life expectancy but i need to have the country also right country e okay country what was that name perhaps let's see if that worked yes so in andorra macau san marino seems to be the uh, longest life expectancy nice to know and i think that will be enough for now with the world database we can get back to this later on but uh, this is fine for now the world database it's always ha nice to have a, a larger database when you get going with learning databases learning sql and sort of dig into it so the world database good place to start thanks for now see you later bye bye